Hey, thanks for checking out Eskimo TV. My name is Jason Escamilla. Today I'm going to be reviewing the top 10 worst movies of 2018. And I will start with my number 10, and before I reveal my number one worst movie of the year, I'm actually going to include some honorable mentions. So let's go ahead and get things started off with number 10. <laughs> Number 10 is Pacific Rim Uprising. The only reason that I have this shirt is because it was given to me for free at the screening and every time I look at it, I'm tempted to burn it because I really disliked this movie. This movie was incredibly boring. It was hard to stay awake and the only admirable thing I think people can really like is the CGI action sequences that it has, which were not enough to make me like this movie. <laughs> Who actually thought a Christmas zombie musical would work? Number 9 is Anna and the Apocalypse. The plot of this movie was silly and I could not get invested in the story and most of the music was awful. The person who made this clearly likes lots of different genres and wanted to do something that didn't really work when you put all of them together. <laughs> Number 8 is another YA movie, Darkest Minds. These cheesy YA films need to stop. The dialogue and the characters felt way too contrived and the story had just major pacing issues. I really did not like Darkest Minds. <laughs> Number seven is Happy Time Murders. This movie was terrible, terrible, terrible. Cursing puppets and violence just isn't funny when that is all you have to offer. I think this movie was lazy, uncreative, and was a chore to sit through. <laughs> Number six is Assassination Nation. This is probably the movie that made me the most mad the more I watched it. I get that it's satirical, but it just wasn't funny whatsoever to me. And the more I watched how crazy these characters were, the more their actions began to get under my skin. This is a movie that I wanted to yell at the screen. I really hated watching this movie, and I definitely wouldn't recommend it to anyone. <laughs> Number five is the worst animated movie of the year, and that is Sherlock Gnomes. This movie was the most formulaic thing that I've ever seen. Clearly it's designed for kids, but I felt like I got dumber as I watched more and more of it. And I don't think kids should be subject to that. I think that they can watch things that are more well-developed. Maybe you might think it works as a kid's movie, but I would think even kids would be bored due to this very uncreative and once again, formulaic plot. <laughs> Number four is the 1517 to Paris. This movie was full of terrible acting and just a really thin plot that didn't really engage me as an audience member. I think it has good intentions and that's probably why it's not higher up on my list, but this movie was just a real drag to sit through. <laughs> Number three is The Possession of Hannah Grace. This movie defines what I don't want horror films to be like, but they keep on making them. Just cheap cash grab films set in one location, so that way they can keep their budget real low, and it's all designed to steal your money and think you're watching a decent movie, but all you're getting is the same jump scares that we've seen for years. You ought to spend your money on a haunted house as opposed to just sitting in your chair watching this lady walk around a morgue the entire time. Possession of Hannah Grace was awful. <laughs> Number two is Suspiria. This movie was the most convoluted, long, drawn out, and boring plot I've seen in a really long time. This movie could easily be my number one. I had to go back and forth between this one and what I picked for my number one. I wish I could have put this movie in a video editor and cut pieces out. It was such a drag. And I wish I could have just changed some certain details with the story. And I'm sad that Suspiria 
Suspiria is even on this list because I think it had some really great elements and 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 devices that were very unique and creative to the story but because of how much I hated sitting through it Suspiria is my number two worst movie of the year <laughs> Before I reveal my number one movie that I hated this year, here are some honorable mentions. Hurricane Heist, Wrinkle in Time, Truth or Dare, and Peppermint. Alright ladies and gentlemen, the number one movie that I hated this year that gets an award for being the best worst movie is Slender Man. I don't know why I forced myself to go see this. I knew this was going to be bad. They did not screen it for critics. And I should have known straight off the bat that this was going to be extremely awful. But I did not anticipate this movie being this terrible. This short, short movie felt like an eternity. And the characters were the most basic characters I've ever seen. They could have been called Girl 1, Girl 2, Girl 3. And you wouldn't really know the difference. There's no distinct characteristics amongst the characters. This, just like uh, Possession of Hannah Grace, is what horror films need to stop being like. It's just a cheaply made movie made to get your money. And this was just a really awful experience. If you saw any of these movies mentioned in this video in theaters, I apologize. If you have not seen any of these movies, good job. You skipped the major crap that came out this year. I highly suggest you avoid seeing any of these movies. Uh, if someone suggests, hey, let's watch whatever movie that's on this in this video mentioned, it's not worth your time. It's extreme. All these movies that I've mentioned were just extremely hard for me to watch. I wanna know your thoughts on this list. Are there any movies on here that you saw? What do you think about these movies? Are there any movies that you saw this year that you absolutely hated that I did not mention? Let me know in the comments below. You can also follow me on social media at Eskimo TV. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to like this video and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell button so you get notifications. And I'll see you guys in 2019. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for more Icy and Chili Eskimo TV reviews.